Google follows the YouTube in cutting off ad revenue to Russian state media. Hong Kong CNN business Google will no longer allow Russian state media outlets to run ads following a similar decision on Saturday by the tech giant video subsidiary YouTube. In response to the war in Ukraine, we are pausing Google monetization of Russian state-funded media across our platforms, Google said in a state statement to CNN Business on Sunday. We are actively monitoring new developments and will take further steps if necessary. The announcement marks the latest blow to Russian-linked media amid a wave of criticism directed at big tech platforms in the past week for allowing monetization to continue despite the Russians' invasion of Ukraine. In a separate statement this weekend, YouTube said that it will temporarily halt the ability of the number of Russian channels, including state-sponsored RT, to monetize, monetize their content on the platform. It will also be significantly limiting recommendations to those channels, it added. As the crisis in Ukraine intensifies, the social media companies have been scrambling to rein in misinformation and Russian state propaganda. A YouTube spokesperson said the company has removed hundreds of channels and thousands of videos over the past few days, including channels for cooperate deceptive practices. The move by Google follows the ban announced Friday by Meta on Russian state media's ability to run ads and monetize them on Meta's platform. Meta's head of security policy, Nathaniel Glaster, said on Twitter Saturday that the company will continue pushing labels on additional Russian state media posts. Also on Friday, the Russian government moved to the partially restrict Facebook access in the country after accusing the platform of unlawful censorship. Russia's Ministry of Communications and claimed that Facebook violates the rights and freedoms of Russian citizens, alleging that the social network had clamped down on several Russian media outlets Thursday. In response to the allegations, Meta Global Affairs President Nick Craig said on Friday that Russia had ordered the company to stop the independent fact checking and labeling of four Russian outlets. We refused, Craig said in a statement. Ordinary Russians are arguing our apt to express themselves and organize for action. We want them to continue to make their voices heard, share what's happening, and organize. Google Maps in Ukraine Separately, Google Maps has also blocked two features in Ukraine that provide information to users in real time, the company confirmed to CNN Visions on Sunday. Google made the change in the effort to help keep Ukrainians safe and after consultations with the local officials, the company said. The disabled features include the company's live, live traffic overlay, overlay, a feature some researchers have used to monitor the conflict from afar, as well as live bushiness a feature that displays how popular a location may be at the given time. Traffic updates are still available in Ukraine while using Google Maps navigation mode. Google said, Ramish, Ramisha Maruf contributed to this report.